Hey guys, this is Tyler, and today this is my six month dread video. I made this video many times, so I hope this is my like final one I have to make. Sorry if I talk a little fast in this, but I don't know. <laughs> so, so far the dreads have been going really good. They're locking up a lot better. You can noticeably see more knots inside of the dreadlocks. It's really neat. They're just coming together. They're starting to look like real dreads after I blunt them. I, with the wispy ends, they don't look very good, in my opinion. Some people might think they look great, but I, I don't think they look too good. And So I've been blunting a lot more of the dread tips. And that's been going pretty good. I don't think I'll get them done uh, until probably December or January, I'm guessing, because I've used the Dreadhead HQ uh, crochet hook and what happens is the hook's so tiny that it goes when I do blunt the tips I take the dread and I jab it in there and it actually jabs into my thumb sometimes and it cuts up my thumb and so I have to let that heal and that takes like a week or so so usually I am doing like two dreads a week or three it's not very many and then I have to like watch them because usually after the first shower they come out and I have to redo them and then they start to kind of catch on that I want them to be blunted, which is good. I don't mind it. Just I just take a couple at a time. I'm starting to stutter now. <laughs> and uh, one other thing I've noticed is that a lot of loose hairs are starting to go into the dread, which is good. But in a sense, it's not because uh, after I take a shower and things, I... In the morning, I roll my dreads, palm roll them each and every morning. But right after a shower, they're the worst because all these loose hairs are going into other dreads. And so I have to rip them. Well, not rip them, but I pull out the hairs out of the other dreads and just kind of set them on their way. But sometimes they go into the right dread, which is good. So there's a good and downside of that. And uh, That's one big thing I've been noticing. And there's only one car, uh, cargo so far. I think that's how you pronounce it or say it. This guy right here. I had him since probably my week or my month of having dreads. So he's been with me since day one pretty much. I think the dreads were put in too close together, back home too close. And it just kind of, they just became like brothers. I don't know. <laughs> so that's all that's really going on, on with my dreads. Just you know, locking up, more loose hairs going into the dreads, which is good, and less cargoes, well, no cargoes are really forming, only except for that one, and I'm trying to keep the dreads, which are in it, like, pulled apart, so then they, you can noticeably tell that it's a cargo, so I think that's kind of cool, yeah, yeah, I'll show you guys, I don't know, it's so hard with this webcam, like that. So it's pretty neat. I have a band in there to kind of control everything. A rubber. I have a rubber band in there to control everything. It's doing it's doing its job. And dreads are getting longer too. I've been I've been people have been telling me that, and I also have been noticing that. So that's always good. But so that's all of my six month video. Sorry if I started and said many things over and over. But oh, there we go again. <laughs> so. Talk to you guys next time, and, and oh, also, could you, uh, I know I said this before, but could you guys like my how to blunt your dread tips? I know it's kind of annoying, but I only need one more to at least be qualified into the contest. So, and once I reach 10, I'll drop it. So, uh, oh, well, thank you guys, and talk to you next week, next month. Bye.